Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Soccer Round Goes Pro. This is the FA Trophy third round qualifying replay against Sol. I have to remember that because I can't remember what it was. Um, because it's such an obscure trophy. But yeah, nevertheless, we are home for this one. The Luther, Luther, I can never say Luther Blissett. I can never say that in one go. <laughs> line away, line up. 4-4-2. Uh, we are playing Gomez and Wilson. No room for Max Rushton. Uh, there aren't that many actually Soccer AM names in this now because that the team is getting taken over by i suppose semi-pros or pros i guess um you know and i've got dave morgan's in there kettland's in there that's james kettland you may recognize his face i do recognize his face but i don't know where from he's in the crew anyway but a lot of the players have talked about wilson hartman mohammed who's another one he's the uh somalian i'm tempted to call him the actually no no i'm going to I'm going to, uh, just because I can, I'm going to change his nickname, excuse me, uh, knocking like that, I'm going to call him the, uh, I'm going to call him the Pirate, because he's Somalian, so, the Pirate is our number seven, um, and yeah, the Salford team, I don't know if you probably, I think most of these actually be fictional teams, and, uh, hmm, my computer seems to be crashing a lot, <laughs> like, they just rendered the last episode, and, uh, it just shat itself, so, uh, it seems to be crashing at every given advice so what I will do is um week of foot week of foot and close him down <laughs> so that's just just mix it up a bit you know just just do something like that if you don't if you don't have any idea of what you're doing or don't know the team just do that just just do what I do just randomly pick players and do that um let's see yeah, courage the team yeah whatever looks stressed whatever I don't care. It's Salford. It's not going to be difficult. I'm going to get stressed. I wouldn't get stressed out against playing against Salford. Actually, I would because details all sorts of abuse at me. But never mind. Salford, Salford. People from Salford will get rather angry when they learn they're playing someone from Liverpool. So anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get on with the game. Uh, I will need to speed this up. I will go back to the old uh, TV. Uh, so not TV. The old uh, 2D classic. For those who are still wondering, and if you are, if you have recently joined the channel, wondering why I play in 2D. Uh, oh, that's a penalty straight away. Dali Gomez diving apparently again. Never mind. Dave Morgan will take this penalty. Um, I was going to explain why I'm playing 2D Classic. I will in a moment. But Dave Morgan has a chance to get another penalty there. And he does. He puts us in the lead here. And, uh, well, that's good. That's good because um, we've already done the draw for the first round. It did it itself. Again, I didn't have any jurisdiction in doing it. But never mind. Uh, I'll show you who we are playing at the, in at the end. Provided we qualify. Uh, let's see. Morgan... Much better penalty than the last one that uh, you saw in the last episode. But Morgan puts us in the lead. Now let's hope they don't come back fighting. Because, I mean, you know, they, they gave us a good game in the last one. I think I may have holidayed that one. As I say, I think I holiday like one or two games of an episode. Or an episode. You know, it's games that count as an episode. But it's, it's a ball over the top again. Wilson with an open goal has hit the post. It was a diff I mean, it was difficult. It was a very difficult angle. And he hit the post. But he should have scored there. Very, very hard. Oh. Ah, that was close. Um, oh, hang on, we have free kick here with Morgan. A terrible free kick. Um, he said, "Oh, okay." Um, I'm gonna have to hang on. I'm gonna have to do it myself then. Um, okay, so it was a Kavanagh. Not Bean might have to play. Uh, can anyone else play? Ah, no. Sorry, not that one. I've picked the wrong bloody player. Watkins. Sorry. <laughs> um. No, fuck it. We'll go with three at the back. Bit bit ambitious, but whatever. Actually, can Hartman play there? No, he can't. Very unadaptable players. <laughs> oh, he's defensive. Actually, that means he can play there. Ah, it's the second goal. Never mind. <laughs> Dali Gomez has scored. Uh, I was just figuring out the tactics. I was going through... But it's a fabulous strike. We always miss the fabulous strikes, don't we? Always do. I mean, if you look, honestly keep an eye on the uh, little uh, screen in the in the bottom left-hand corner. Let's have no. Let me show show the bloody goal. Let's have a look. So he skipped past a few players, still going, and oh, what a goal! Brilliant goal from Dali Gomez. He looks like a decent little signing already. He got injured uh, last time, but never mind. Um, Baby Elvis has come on, so he'll be in this sort of weird attacking role. I want to see how he does in this sort of conventional attacking role. Doesn't really do much. I've tried it before. I tried it with Liverpool and it didn't, you know, really work as very effective, you know. Um, I, I mean, the, the player I could put in that position and sort of seemed to go missing. 
get me. It was it was very I don't know. It did, yeah, as I say, it just go missing. I've got no other way of explaining it. Uh, but Salford coming on to us now, as, as you'd expect, two 0 up. They need a goal. Um, we're in no rush now. First time I've really seen us dominate. Anyway, here's the pirate. Oh, great ball across from the pirates and Wilson. It's been bundled in. Anthony Wilson has uh, it was his tenth goal. We're in November and has his tenth goal. He is what a buy. He's proven to be Anthony Wilson. Certainly, if you are in non-league football, I would absolutely recommend this kid. He's very good. He's uh, he's big and uh, without sounding like KSI, he's black. Oh, great header as well. What power that was. I didn't even know it was a header. I thought he just tapped it in. But Wilson with a powerful header from over seven yards out. And that's 3-0. Um, I've been wondering why I picked this as a live commentary. Um, it's because it's, it's, a, it's a cup game. <laughs> Simple as that. I like, I like to want to do the comment. I want to do commentaries for cup games and the occasional league games. That, that's the reason. So you can see Baby Elvis has barely been in it. So playing, doesn't know, that's what I mean. They don't really know where they're playing. You know, do they want to play as a striker, as a... As a midfielder, you know, so that, they kind of go missing, as I say. So I might change that. And that is a shocking miss. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll address what I was going to say earlier. That was why do we play in 2D Classic? Uh, it's easier. It lets you can see what goes on. It's a lot clearer to see. Um, I'm saying I'm happy. Um, anyway, I'll just change the formation very quick. I wonder can maybe Elvis. Ah, oh, no, he can't play five. All right, okay. Um, let's see. Can we take? I might just take someone off actually, just so they don't get injured. Um, let's see who can we take off here? I may take off the pirate, and I will bring on. In fact, I've barely got anyone to take off. So I can uh, James play there? No, he can't. Hmm. Excuse me one second. <coughs> no. uh, I'm just debating again where to play these plays because ah, that'll work. That's a good one. I'll try that. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, let's play. Second off, but yeah, uh, 2D Classic. It is, as I say, it's it's better for me because the computer it runs a lot easier. The computer doesn't doesn't kill the computer. Oh, and they should have scored there. Because if I put it on CD Classic, it's a lot harder to see. It runs a lot like it runs quite laggy. Um, quite it's a lot harder to see the ball in a YouTube player, even as big even like an extended big player. It's quite still quite difficult to see. Oh Hargreaves has a chance. Hartley with a good save and another good save. Very good double save from the goalkeeper. And here's a chance to break maybe. No, it's gonna cut the highlight. Uh, it's also kinda of like nostalgic as well, I guess. You know, so it is the only one that doesn't rape your computer. So that's that's why, in case because I still constantly get comments saying, two, why are you playing in 2D?" And it's like, I've told you a million times, then you realise it's like, "Oh, sorry, I'm a new subscriber." I'm like, "Oh, fair enough." So, oh, and that's oh my god, they're awful. <laughs> Their finishing is absolutely shocking. I mean, truly awful. I'm gonna make a sub anyway. Just uh, take Kavanagh off. Um, bring not beam on. Bassey can play there, can he? Yes, he can. I think we'll bring Rushton on as well. Bring good old Max on for Wilson to take him off. In fact, I think I don't think we need to go attacking anymore. Anyway. Let's just go standard. There you go. So, um, let's see. Now, I think this really should run out. So, I think that is our qualification now into the uh, first round proper of the FA Trophy. I'll be doing a commentary for the first round game. Uh, which, as I say, I'll show you who will be playing at the end, unless we can add more goals here. Dali Gomez with a decent run. So, but, I mean, if you are looking at some of these players and you are, you do have a non-league save, or if you are doing my Soccer AM save, here's some good players. Honestly, Dali Gomez, Anthony Wilson. Um, I can't remember that guy's name. I'll show you the, the Pirate's name at the end if you're in. Actually, just, just I'll, ask, I'll tell you the Pirate's proper name. If you do want to sign him, I'll, I'll tell you his proper name, but... But Baby Elvis to make it four. He's on a hot streak at the moment. Baby Elvis, he can't stop scoring currently. <laughs> That's four. And uh, sorry, Salford. I don't know. I usually say Salford. Salfordians? Is that a. I don't even know. But whatever. Um, so look at this. A header again from El Baby Elvis. And uh, Gokey probably should have saved that. But whatever. He was about two yards out. <laughs> Um, so really, it was from the start. I mean, they gave, I mean, if you look how many shots they've had, I mean, they've been extremely wasteful. But, you know, I think. Yeah, you know, it shows that we are better now. You know how much we have improved from that Tottenham game. I think if we had taken this forming into the FC Tottenham game, then I think 
um, we would have battered them like we've done here. This, I think Salford and Tottenham, Tottenham are pretty much the same level. Uh, for those wondering, this is not, by the way, I know I think a few people might get this mixed up. This is not FC United. Um, they play in a higher league. Oh, Max Rushton goes close. Um, I think FC United play in the Northern Premier League. These Salford don't even play in that. I could be wrong, but I don't think FC United, that, that breakaway team, of course, um, from Manchester United after the Glazers took over. Um, Manchester United, obviously, a lot of fans quite disgruntled. A bit of what uh, AFC Liverpool did. Any Liverpool fans watching, you may know of them. Um, but yeah, um, I think I'm not too sure if Wimbledon did that as well um, when they became the NK Dons. I could be wrong, but you know, there's always these breakaway teams that are currently, you know, getting back into you know, like AFC Wimbledon. They're in League Two now. A lot of people wanted me to do them as a team, but you know, I could be bothered if I'm honest with you doing that League Two. But see, the morale's all superb, and this is what I mean about playing a game with um, against a really rubbish opposition. Look at the morale. So uh, I'll just say passionate. Well done. Good victory. And that will be that. So, obviously, Hartman didn't get on the squad. I don't think he even played him, actually. <laughs> the man of the match was Dali Gomez. He got his goal, and he uh, ran the opposition ragged. The a little Argentine. So, uh, let's go through the news. These were, of course, the replays. We have £4,000. And we will be playing against Bamba Bridge in the FA Trophy first round. Um... I don't know if anyone is from or supports or whatever Bamba Bridge, uh, but here's your team if you do. I don't even know where Bamba Bridge is. Isn't that like in... Uh, I, I don't even know. Is it up north? Isn't it by Newcastle? I, I don't know, actually. Where is it? I might say. I think it's by Newcastle. See where their, um, where their ground is. Information. I think the name is Brig. Oh, no, it's not. I'm miles away. It's, uh, it's in Lancashire, Chorley and Lackrington, so it's not too far away from here, actually. Um, yeah, same thing that I was, see, the Pirate makes professional debut, um, <laughs> there is the Somali in one, one appearance, not bad, this is actually, I'll just show you his real name now, I guess, um, Mukhtar Mohammed is his name, so if you like him, uh, there he is, Mukhtar Mohammed. <laughs> don't know why, I think I got recommended him, I thought, hey, look at that, he's got a funny nationality, he's Somalian, uh, so yeah, um, there you go, that's the Pirate, he is forever the Pirate now. Um, let's do the post-match conference then, tonight we've done one of these, uh, superb win, a fairy tale continues, um, as long as we're in the competition we can win it, Dali Gomez, great moment for him, I love how he says, he's had a goal drought, but he's had a fine start, <laughs> what, <laughs> contradictory or what, anyway, uh, so when is that Bamber Bridge game, that is not for, uh, actually that's quite, that's not too far away actually, um, I will do a live commentary of that, so, uh, we have the next game against Dartford, and uh, I may do a live commentary for that as well. Wink, wink. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.